What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is iRacing IndyCar Fix Series at Texas because the prototype GT race on Friday night didn't go official so I decided to hop on over here and it's something completely different with no practice at all at a track that you run 215-220 miles an hour really close together and we'll see how this goes hopefully it'll go good hopefully Although this is the fixed series again because there's like 70 people registered for this race. So should be a pretty close race. Everybody should be pretty smart-ish. Ish, maybe. As usual, racing the old school Delara IndyCar that needs to GTFO because this thing just needs to be a memory of the past and nothing more. Because, yeah. It just does. We're starting to clear the hell back in 18th position here. Going to be on the outside line, which not ideal because you're not racing. The Indy car is a hug the white line affair and don't let go. Of course, it's easier said than done, to say the least, but that's pretty much how it goes. Here on restarts, this car is very tricky. Once you hit 8,000 RPMs, that's the thing that you see right in the middle of the screen. That's how, like, 5,200, you know? kind of obvious once you get 8,000 rpms back off the throttle you will kill yourself if you do not you will get epic wheel spin of epic proportions it's like you're suddenly in a top field dragster and the thing has six times the horsepower you expected and no weaving does nothing I just get bored okay so hopefully we'll get a smooth restart although we got some jackass up there laying back 10 car lengths so I'm just watching the rev counter here. The pipe carries in. Up, oh, there they go. Wahoo! Ah <laughs> yeah! The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> epic restart is epic right there, man. Ah oh, man. That was one hell of a restart, if I say so myself. I think I just, uh, I think it's passed a bunch of guys. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's our first gosh in the race. We made it, uh, approximately one dog leg corner, and, uh, that's, that's that. Okay, I'm going to skip to the caution here, because obviously we're not going to pit, because we didn't even get the tires to a corner. So, uh, yeah, Let's see how many cautions we get here at Texas. Okay, and we're getting ready to go back to green. Once again, we're going to watch those revs. That is that is your lifeline when you're restarting an Indy car on an oval. I'm serious. If you've never driven this car, that is absolutely crucial. You will get huge, massive amounts of wheel spin. This is not a star Mazda. That said, why am I doing this? Because I watched Jimmy Broadbent's video. You should go ahead and go, like, over to his channel. Uh, that's his name on YouTube. He's really easy to find. But uh, he posted a race in the Star Mazda from Charlotte, and I was just, like, cringing the entire time I was watching it. So let's see how cringeworthy this is. Green flag, green flag. Not sure if that was going to be a... That's going to be a really smart move. We got this guy on the high side, so hopefully we can get a Inside. bit of a slipstream going. Stay high. Still there. Stay high. Just waiting for clear. Not the clear I wanted, but clear is clear. Looks like we got about 12 wide going on up front. Uh, spotter, that guy is most definitely there. Most definitely. A little bit of dab a break. I 
These races, though, a mile and a half, IndyCar, foot to the floor fest, they uh, can be pretty intense because you know if you uh, screw up just one little bit, you dead. You just game over. There is no repairing your car. There is no optional repair. Every wreck is a big one here. smoke just gotta make sure that you're keeping keeping your uh, eyes way ahead of course that's like one of the first things that they teach you in driving school look as far down the road as you possibly can because that's what you need to do just gonna toss it into sixth because why not right now Hard to believe that this is the track that I personally hold responsible for killing cart. Of course, that's what will happen when you uh, have 900 horsepower in a car that weighs next to nothing and is built to go absurdly fast. Those were the days. Sadly, we will probably never see them again. But on the bright side, open wheel racing here in the United States has uh, definitely made a resurgence. This year, currently with IndyCar, Things are actually looking pretty much the best they've been since the late 90s, which is saying a lot because the DW12 is one ugly as sin automobile, and it's not that fast. And I know someone's going to say, oh, the fastest in 500 ever. Well, yeah, when your car goes so slow that it can't blow the engine, that tends to happen. Not saying that I want a uh, caution fest, but let's drop this down to fifth and then let's get a move on. Hopefully I'm close enough to get a toe off of that guy. Not saying I want to caution fest because cars are blowing up every like two laps, but I mean, come on. I'm going to be seeing them push 240. They did it before, they can do it again. Big wiggle by that black car. Still there. Keep high. Clearing side. I am channeling my inner Ed Carpenter right now. Garing side. Keep high. Clearing side. Garing side. Keep high. Clear. Yeah, 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 spotter, I know. Car inside. Newsflash, car inside. Clear inside. Just so you know, car inside. Car inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. You're in the top ten. That's the uh, way I prefer to uh, scrub off a little bit of speed. Uh, when you got to run on the ovals and you really can't go anywhere. That's something that uh, I guess I kind of picked up from restrictor plate racing in NASCAR, which obviously this is pretty similar, except for the fact that you cannot bum draft. You bum draft, you you wreck. Rubin's wrecking here. I shouldn't look left. I didn't want to see a wheel there. Keep high. Even though it is obviously inevitable. IndyCar pack Still race. There. Don't Clear. you love it? Car inside. Still there. Stay high. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. The yellow 
See, I was planning for the yellow flag, so I got way high. That way, you know, I had to slow. I could slow down and have no issues. Whew. That honestly wasn't uh, that intense. Was not that intense. But we are uh, racing about where our I rating says it should be. So we managed to move up a couple of spots. The race has been fairly clean, uh, fairly respectful so far, at least around me. Uh, nothing really too terribly silly, no really aggressive blocking or chopping or anything shenanigans worthy like that. So, all right, we're about halfway. We'll probably be about halfway when we restart this race, so I'll join you guys on the other side. And we are back. Apparently, there's a been a little bit of feuding going on here. The plot thickens. Okay. The, the three's wing is effed up. Who is the three? Okay. Three is ahead of us. Okay. This is the guy that was right around behind us. Or right around behind on the high side. So... But it uh, looks like this guy next to me in the black car and this guy in front of me were kind of getting a little chippy. Apparently, apparently the guy in front of us didn't like uh, the fact that, or the guy to my right didn't like the fact that the guy in front of us was uh, actually racing, I guess. You know, holding his line on the high side and, and not just driving around in circles. So, once again, watching those RPMs. RPMs are everything. The pipe car is in. Green flag, green flag. And a really bad start car there. Outside. Clear, car outside. Marcos, don't do this to me. always like to be clear. Who would have thought, right? Giant, giant net code wiggle there. Fudge. Got freaking wiggling all over the place. Ah, we're going the wrong way. Okay, we're back to the back to the high side. Yep. I don't know why I tried that because I know this does not work. Okay. Draft Fest 2013. Yeah, go high. I dare you, 14. I dare you. You ain't got the balls. 
You ain't got the testicular fortitude to try and sail it in on the high side. back up to this pack within like a corner. Be nice if the guys behind me would just stay single file and then we can just latch onto this pack and mix it up. IndyCar racer on oval. It is a lesson in not moving at all. Oh god, oh god. Holy schnaggities there, bro. This guy on the apron going into four. That's, that's always a good sign. guy is weaving all over the place. Hold your goddamn line, bro. See, uh, Ernie Swervin is right driving uh, Indy cars these days. Funny thing is, these guys are like all over the place. They're checking up like all the damn time, but yet you really can't do anything with it. I wish I could just put my uh, hand in the air and be like, Hey, yo, bro, guy behind me, let's go. Let's go high side. Let's make this shit work. off the limiter there. Pain is if you upshift to six, you pretty much lose whatever run you had just because of the shifting and the slight delay. I mean, it's a fast gearbox, but still. Come on, I need someone up here. If I get one more car up here, we are going. Come on, Six, I know you want it. When you race on 65 field of view in this car and you see a wheel to your left, yeah, that's close racing. So what's the uh, over-under on a wreck <laughs> that takes out everybody? What are the odds on that? Las Vegas odd makers say uh, one to one. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Bottom, three wide, outside, two wide, the yellow 
flag is out. Line up. Dude just like warped back in front of me and then death happened. Uh not good. Uh the pointy grade car. Now she <laughs> Well, let's see what they got to say on chat. I'm not sure if my car is damaged or if it's not. So this is going to be uh, Harry going off into turn one at probably about 185 miles an hour with a car that may or may not have a front wing. See, this is where I wish I could just like be all... Uh, Hey, uh, 14, could you pull up to my right side and see if uh, I got some wing damage up front? Pit road is Just ask now the guy open. behind me, That's see if he'll, he'll bite. Doesn't, doesn't look like he's going to. Doesn't look like he's game. That's okay. Oh, God. I'm probably only going to have, like, two laps left. Which means there will be will be a wreck will be a wreck <laughs> but the way I look at it another restart another chance for like six guys to wreck themselves and me just sail on by them awesome it's gonna happen I, I sense it everybody's getting chippy again excited you only have a couple of laps left, and they're going to be all like, well, i got to go now because I can gain a lot of positions if I get a really good restart. Wait, isn't that what I'm doing? Okay, I'll join you guys on the other side of the caution. Okay, and we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. We're going to have three laps to go when we take the green. AKA, I'm swerving to practice my wreck avoidance. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. I have a pretty good feeling that uh, shenanigans is going to occur here. And this guy here is Get ready. six lengths back. What the heck are you doing? What is this guy doing in front of me? The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Let's do this. Inside. Still there. Stay high. Go inside from the far. Clear. The car outside. There's the white flag. When does it happen? Okay. Looks like we managed to finish really? eighth. Great job. You, did you really guys well. do realize that cut that instant count until everybody's crossed the line, right? Idiot. Move on up from the back of the pack. Move it up. Uh, what was that? Ten positions. A lot of them on restarts. That's made a pretty decent right. move there at the end there on that restart. Go figure. Hey, restarting a Delara IndyCar. It ain't that difficult, man. I know. Sebastian no Bourdais there. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we improved our, our position and maybe gained some safety room. Probably didn't lose much, but, uh, yeah, let's Probably go ahead and take a look at that incident. 
Two things I'd like to add here post-race. First of all, this wreck, absolutely terrible netcode. In fact, the worst I've ever seen at iRacing. Just shenanigans. See a guy drive right through another guy. And then also, there's a couple of guys complaining that they couldn't pass here in this race. Uh, a lot of times under caution. But it really comes down to as simple as this. If you have to hit the brakes, if you have to roll out of the throttle consistently, constantly, lap after lap, chances are the guy in front of you is slower. Chances are you should try and pass him. You can't move forward without taking a risk. And that's why I managed to pass more cars than anyone else and prove my position more than anyone else. Because I actually tried. Grow some balls. Go high. Pass cars. I buy.